Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sabaha. My topic for today is Difference between Kidnapping and Abduction. Let's discuss the meaning of kidnapping. If we talk about the literary meaning, kidnapping has been derived from the word kid, that means child, and napping, that means to steal. So the literary meaning is to steal a child. However, under the IPC, it is not confined to child stealing only. It has been given broader implication that is carrying away a human being against his or her consent or the person accused removes a person from his or her lawful guardian. That means there are two things. First, carrying away a human being against his or her will or he is removed from his or her lawful guardian. According to Walker, kidnapping is the common name for the common law offense of carrying away or secreting of any person against his will or against the will of his lawful guardians. It may be constituted by false imprisonment, which is total restraint of a person and his confinement without lawful authority or justification. Under Indian Penal Code, there are two types of kidnapping. The first one is described under Section 360, that means kidnapping from India. And second is Section 361, that is kidnapping from lawful guardianship. The first form of kidnapping has been described under Section 360 of IPC, that is kidnapping from India. Section 360 explains that Whoever conveys any person beyond the limits of India without the consent of that person or some person legally authorized to consent on behalf of that person is said to kidnap that person from India. So the ingredients are firstly, the person should be conveyed out of the border of India. Secondly, the person should be conveyed without his consent or without the consent of the person who is legally authorized to consent on his behalf. And lastly, if a person is not capable of giving valid consent, as in the case of minor or a person with unsound mind, the consent of his lawful guardian is required to take him outside India. The next one is kidnapping from lawful guardianship. This has been described under section 361 of IPC. Kidnapping from lawful guardianship means taking a child away from his lawful guardian without the guardian's consent. According to section 361 of IPC, whoever takes or entices any minor under 16 years of age if male or 18 years of age if female or any person of unsound mind out of the keeping of the lawful guardian of such minor or person of unsound mind without the consent of such guardian is said to kidnap such minor or person from lawful guardianship. That means the word lawful guardian in this section includes any person lawfully entrusted with the care or custody of such minor or other person. For example, if a child is going to the school from bus, then the bus driver will be considered as a lawful guardian. Similarly, if the child is in the school, then the school authority will be considered as a lawful guardian. And if the child is taken away from the school or the bus without taking the permission of the lawful guardian, that may be a temporary lawful guardian, then it will be considered as a kidnapping. No matter that the child is giving a permission or child is giving a consent to go with that particular person because child is not considered as a competent enough to understand the difference between the right and the wrong. So the consent of child is not considered as a right consent. It is necessary to take the consent of a lawful guardian. Similarly, this is also a case with a person of the unsound mind that his or her consent is not considered as a valid consent. The consent of only a lawful guardian 
will be considered as a valid consent. So taking away a child or a person of unsound mind, no matter if they are giving a consent also, it will be considered as kidnapping if it is taken away without taking a permission of the lawful guardianship. So the ingredients of section 361 are there must be taking or enticing of a minor or a person of unsound mind. Secondly, such minor must be under 16 years of age if a male or 18 years of age if a female. Taking or enticing must, must be out of a keeping of the lawful guardian of such minor or person of unsound mind. And the intention of the accused on taking or enticing must be without the consent of such guardian. There are certain exceptions also of section 361. This section does not extend to the act of any person who is in good faith believes himself to be the father of an illegitimate child or who in good faith believes himself to be entitled to the lawful custody of such child unless such act is committed for an immoral or unlawful purpose. Punishment for kidnapping. As kidnapping is a substantive offense, so the punishment has, is, has been described under section 363 of IPC, which is seven years plus fine. There are certain more punishment for kidnapping which depends upon the nature or purpose of the kidnapping. So the first one is kidnapping for purpose of begging. If the kidnapping has been committed for the purpose of begging, that is forceful begging, then the punishment will be 10 years plus fine, which has been mentioned under section 363A of IPC. The second one, if the kidnapping is in order to murder, a child then the punishment will be 10 years plus fine mentioned under section 364 of IPC. Third one is kidnapping for ransom. Again the punishment is 10 years plus fine mentioned under section 364 of 364 A of IPC. Fourth is kidnapping with intention to wrongfully confine a person. The punishment is seven years plus fine, described under section 365 IPC. Fifth is kidnapping so as to compel a woman to marry. Punishment is again 10 years plus fine, mentioned under section 366 of IPC. Sixth is kidnapping so as to subject a person to grievous hurt. Then again, the punishment is 10 years plus fine mentioned under section 367 of IPC. And lastly, kidnapping a child under 10 years of age in order to steal from a person. Then again, the punishment is 7 years plus fine described under section 369 of IPC. The next one is abduction. This is described under section 362 of IPC. Abduction means if a person either by force compels a person or induced another person to go from one place to another, it is said to be abduct such person. So the ingredients are, the first one is a person should go from one place to another. A person cannot be abducted at the same place where he is. For abduction, it is necessary to move from one place to another physically. The second is either by forceful compulsion or by inducement. That means the movement of such person must be because of such compulsion or because of some inducement. For example, if A threatens B on gunpoint to go from one house to another city, here A has compelled B to go from his house and is thus guilty under this section. Thirdly, here the age of the abducted person is immaterial. Thus, even a major can be abducted if he is forced to go from one location to another. But if a minor is abducted, it, um, it may amount to kidnapping as well.
Further, it is a continuing offense. That means as long as person is forced to go from one place to place, from then again from another place, then the abduction will be considered as a continuous abduction. Punishment for abduction. As abduction is an auxiliary act, so there is no as such punishment for abduction in itself. But there are certain sections in IPC which att attracts the punishment for abduction. The first one is abduction in order to murder. The punishment is 10 years plus fine described under section 364 of IPC. Second is abduction with intention to wrongful confine a person. Punishment is 7 years plus fine section 365 of IPC. Third is abduction so as to compel a woman to marry. Punishment is 10 years plus fine mentioned under section 366 of IPC. Fourth is abduction so as to subject a person to grievous hurt. Punishment is 10 years plus fine mentioned under section 367 of IPC. Then fifth is abducting a child under 10 years of age in order to steal from a person. Punishment is 7 years plus fine described under section 369 of IPC. Let's have a quick revision of the difference between abduction and kidnapping. I have tried to explain the difference of both on some of the bases. The first one is age of the aggrieved person. In case of kidnapping, age plays a very important role. According to section 361 of the IPC, the age of the aggrieved person must be under 16 years in case of the males and 18 years in case of females. In case of abduction, any person either by force has compelled or induced any other person to take from one place to another irrespective of the age shall be amount as abduction. The second is removal from lawful guardianship. Removal of a minor from the lawful guardianship without his or her consent shall amount to kidnapping under section 361 of IPC. Whereas abduction consider only the person who has been abducted. Lawful guardianship does not come into the picture. Third is means. Kidnapping involves taking away or enticement of by the kidnapper. The means used for such purpose is irrelevant. Whereas in abduction, the means used may be force, compulsion or decideful means. Fourth is consent. In case of kidnapping, the consent of the person kidnapped is immaterial. As a person being kidnapped is a minor and according to law, such person is unable to give free consent. And in case of abduction, the consent of the person abducted condones the accused from the offense. Fifth is intention. In case of kidnapping, the intention of the person kidnapping a minor is immaterial. The moment a minor is taken away without the consent of the lawful guardian, it will be considered as kidnapping. Whereas in abduction, in case the intention of the person abducting is a very important factor in determining the guilt of the accused person. Sixth is punishment. Kidnapping is a substantive offense. And under section 363 of the IPC, punishment for kidnapping for a descriptive term which may extend to seven years and fine. Whereas abduction is only an auxiliary act and is not punishable in itself. Therefore, there is no general punishment for abduction in the IPC. But some specific type of, of abduction attracts a punishment described in section 365 to 367 and 369 of IPC. The last is continuity of the crime. Kidnapping is not a continuum offense. The offense is completed as soon as the accused removes the person from the place either without his or her consent or without the consent of his or her lawful guardianship. 
whereas abduction is a continuing process and in this the person share person abducted is removed from one place to another and can also be taken to any other place so it is a continuing process this is all about the difference between kidnapping and abduction this is a very short video if you want the detailed notes you may visit to my website that is priyasapaha.com hope you like the video and if you like it don't forget to subscribe my channel till then bye bye see you soon take care